Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's the 25th of January 2015, and this is a quick video blog for you. Now, we just got back from Las Vegas, and it was very, very successful. Shout out to my spiritual brother, Vince Kelvin, for putting on an incredible event, and we shut Vegas down on those clowns. Now, in that spirit, I want to go over something with you. The late Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, uh, towards the end of his life, he said something that was very impactful for me. He said, this may not be your second chance. You think it's your second chance. This is not verbatim or something like that. He said, this is not, you think it's your second chance, but it's your only chance. It's your final chance. Now, that's very important. Again, I don't remember exact wording that he did. It was a while ago, but it was something that really was awakened me today in that Sometimes you think that you're getting a second chance, okay? Maybe there's an opportunity in your life, whatever that opportunity may be, okay? Now, I'm going to focus on success in business, relationships, and health, and there's something you want to do, right? And you think to yourself, oh, I'm getting an opportunity here. This may be your final opportunity. This may be your final chance. And in fact, for myself, that's actually how I think. The question that people ask me, oh, how are you so motivated? How do you just go for it? It's like, look, this is it. I, I don't know if the, if the next moment I'm going to have an opportunity. So if the opportunity is in front of me, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to give it everything I have. Everything I have. Now, the only issue is that people think that if they give everything they have, and if they fail, then the idea of being rejected or failing is such a big deal to them that it prevents them from acting. And I do understand this. I also have feelings as a human being. I get what it's like to be rejected. I get what it's like to be upset. I get what it's like to fail at something. The difference is, is that if you give it everything you have and, and you put all of your soul in it, it's the most fascinating thing. Then if it doesn't work out, guess what? It's perfect that it didn't work out because you gave it everything you had and it wasn't the right fit. So you can't take a square peg and put it in a triangle peg. Or you can't take a triangle and put it in a square. Unless the square is real big, but you know what I mean, okay? And unless you give it everything you have, unless you give it your, your total self, unless you, you approach it as if it's like, this is, your, this is your only opportunity, this is it, then you never know whether or not things are going to work out or not work out. If they're going to work out, it's because you gave it everything you had. So now you have a creation that is worthy of your name, that's going to be powerful, that's going to make an impact, that's going to change lives, that's going to bring the success that you want into your life. On the other hand, maybe it doesn't work out. And guess what? Now you know. Now you know something you would have known later, which is, guess what? It doesn't fit with you. And that's okay, isn't it? Now, what's even more important than that is the fact that if you're in a state of mind, and remember... The saying is, it's all in a state of mind. If you're in a state of mind to go after life, to go after your goals, your dreams, and to give it everything you have, that person, okay, versus a person who kind of mediocre, you know, the mediocre bullshit, there's a big difference in the way their life is. Now, ask yourself this question. Whatever time you're watching this, ask yourself this question. Did you go and aggressively, aggressively, ferociously attack your goals? Think about it. You see, the mediocre people, they're going to attack you, okay? Oh, they got all these little tiny little attacks, the little sheep. And I just smashed them. Something very funny happened yesterday. One of my pictures in Las Vegas with one of the beautiful women that I met. Of course, I flip off the camera. It's my right to flip off the camera. It's your right to smile or don't smile. You say cheese, I say fuck you, okay? And in one of these groups, some guy, some Joe Schmo, comes up and says something like, something like this. Well... If you have to use obscenity and and obscene gestures to make yourself feel better, I think, uh, then that's fine. But you're not a good role model. And I looked at that guy and I said, how fucking old are you, you fucking goof-ass, doofus, dur dur dumb fuck? Are you seriously, as a fucking grown man, going to come around and deny the picture of that beautiful woman and I, who was a stranger, just maybe 15 minutes earlier, and is no longer a stranger, and is now in my life, you're going to deny our beauty, our presence, the fact that you little chump motherfucker could never, ever get a chance to talk to a woman like that, the fact that I teach those fucking skills to your chump ass, and you're going to deny that, and you're going to 
make a point out of my middle finger, you fucking little goof-ass, dumb fuck, der der idiot. And you see, that's the point. The point is, the moment you start to do shit in life, what they'll do is they'll nitpick at you and they'll make you feel bad about it. But you can't feel bad. You know what this? You know what the solution is? You keep doing your thing, you keep winning, and you call them out on their shit. So I wrote, he didn't answer, I was like, okay, blah, 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 yeah, obscenity, blah, blah. and that's the best way to talk to those fucking idiots, right? Look, have you been aggressive and have you been ferocious at going after your goals? Now, those words, aggressive and ferocious, they'll attack that. Why are you so angry? Why are you aggressive? Why are you ferocious? Why don't you shut the fuck up and let me live my life? And you go on that side, okay? While well, you go with your little mediocre friends, doing your mediocre life, eating your mediocre food, dressing your mediocre clothes, and hanging out in mediocre areas, while I will go over here and continue living the life, life that I live, which is worthy of kings. Okay? And this is the difference. These video blogs and you that are following me or studying my stuff, you want to be the best, fuck the rest. Not be the mediocre and love everyone. That is the biggest bullshit I've ever heard in my life, and it doesn't work. It doesn't work, okay? If you went to the doctor, you don't want him to give you some fucking medicine that doesn't work, but it tastes good, right? Oh, wow, this medicine is so good. It's like fruit juice. I can just drink it. I can drink it, but you're, you're going to die next day. You don't give a fuck what the medicine tastes like. You just want to be healed. Thank you very fucking much. To make it in life is a little difficult, okay? Why? Because every other idiot tries to stop you. What? Well, guess what? This is why you have to earn your position every day. And there's a state of mind that goes with this. There's a power that goes with it. There's a presence that goes with it. And ask yourself if you demonstrate it and, and presented yourself like that. Now, the final thing I'll say to you because I had a few conversations today and they were pathetic. I had some pathetic conversation with a few pathetic people. And the reason that they were pathetic is that the people that they love, their boyfriend, girlfriend, husband and wife, you know, the people they love, are holding them back and they're okay with it. Well, I got some fucking news for you. Your relationship is not going to work out. That's a fact. And about five to ten years after investing all your fucking bullshit into that bullshit relationship, you will be fat, ugly and alone and you will remember back to knowing who I am, what I've been doing and when you look at that moment, I'll be so high so bright that you're going to need goddamn sunglasses to even look up. Fuck pathetic people. Be the best. Fuck the rest. IMC Nation.